Okay. Uh, hello. Um, just a, a, a good week of practice. You know, we've, uh, you know, a lot of time leading up to this, you know, to this first game, you know, and everybody's excited uh, to get going here. Uh, but I thought the guys were focused uh, during the course of the week. Obviously, today we finished up with our, our Fast Friday and uh, really talked to the guys about executing uh, in the red zone, in the gold zone. That's obviously a, an important part uh, to success uh, in this league. Uh, the guys did a good job of that today. And uh, really just talk to them about these uh, the 48-hour the preparation that we talk about, you know, that uh, really I received uh, from Don James uh, uh, via Coach Pinkle uh, years ago. Uh, you know, the, both those guys are Hall of Fame coaches in college, and I was with Coach for 18 years, and he always talk about 48-hour preparation. And all that really means is that the 48 hours leading up to the game, you have to prepare your mind, your body, and your spirit to get up to that peak performance at game time. And uh, there's a buildup to that. And there's a lot of visualization to that. There's a lot of mental prep to that. Um, there's a lot of lead up to that. Um, and there's a lot of studying to that. So, um, and then once you, once you get closer to the game, uh, you're squared away with your preparation and just let it flow and let it go. And uh, uh, that's important for an individual performer. It's important for a coach. Um, it's really important for the coordinators when they're calling the game. They have to visualize that game and the situations they're going to get into. And uh, it makes them more prepared as they go into the game. Um, so that's uh, the message we did that uh, a couple weeks ago uh, for our, our preseason game, and we did it for this week as well. We've done it all last year, something that we've always done. So excited about getting that going. Um, in terms of the uh, honorary captain, that'll be Cody White here uh, for this week. Uh, we named that today. And then uh, you know, in terms of the quarterback, that's going to be Nate. Nate will be our second quarterback, and the emergency quarterback will be Tyson. Uh, we just feel that's the best thing to do at this time uh, for uh, us this week. Um, you guys saw the injury report. Uh, Nate uh, Davis is back. Um, obviously, he uh, was listed as personal issue uh, yesterday. Uh, he's back to full. Looks great today. And we'll move forward from there. And then uh, with that, open to questions. Nate Davis, how much of his absence in the last month or so has been personal? Uh, this is the only personal one that's been, yep, yep. Yep, and the other ones have, have just been him working through some things, you know, during uh, during that time. So there's been no injury at all for him. <clears throat> no, I said the only one day has been personal. Okay. Oh, yep. oh sorry. Yep. Yes, sir. Man, how much? I know every week one has unknowns, right? But how much more prepared, uh, comfortable do you feel like you are, your staff is, with this just? the second year of going through that whole offseason process and of course the talent you've added to. Yeah, I mean there's uh there's a lot to that, you know, but it's always the first game. You know, you want to make sure that you're uh executing, right? You want to execute in the in the rudiments of the game, uh the fundamentals of the game. Uh, keep your penalties down, uh secure the football and making sure you're doing the very basics uh because that's what win fo wins football games, you know, and you want to be good in situations um you want to make sure you're doing hitting all of the basic things that you that you talk about uh, during camp, um, and that's that's important that the coaches uh, and the and the players understand that how we call the game, how we how we put ourselves in this game, because uh, that's what matters, you know. And then you kind of build upon that as you go with your scheme, um, and I think that's important. I'm always in the first game, and I think that's always the way the way you'll take it. I mean, if you have more a more experienced team that's been together for a, a few years, I think you may adjust that a little bit. Uh, but uh, again, this is the first time we're playing game speed. You know, we've you know played some preseason games, but this is game speed. It's different. You know, it's a little bit different. You have you have uh, all the players out there, right? You know, in the game, so it is different. And we got a lot of young guys out there. You know, from all the rookies that we're going to start and play with. So um, it's important that we do the basics well. With the with the backup quarterback spot, it, it seemed like Tyson probably played more than Nathan in the preseason for obvious reasons, probably just being younger, and you guys want to get a look at him. Is the decision to go with Peterman as the backup probably, is that more to do with just like his understanding of the offense, being a veteran, and just being more comfortable in the system and everything? Yeah, I mean, it is certainly a few of those things, but it's really just what we feel is the best right now. Um, you know, we're going to continue to develop both guys, and that could change week to week. I saw uh, Eddie and Jaquan are good to go for Sunday. What, what's the challenge for Jaquan having missed so much time and now trying to play a full game? 
Um, just really just, you know, staying locked in. He'll do a great job with that. You know, it's he's got the year under his belt, which is which is great. And him and Eddie have a great relationship, you know, in terms of their communication and how they operate. And those guys have been all the walkthroughs, which has been awesome, you know, throughout the whole time they've missed during training camp. Uh, they've looked great the last few days. Uh, so I really don't have an issue with either 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 one. How's, how's Chase integrated back into the offense now that he's healthy? Has there been any rust between him and Justin? How are you feeling about how Chase is looking? Yeah, he's had a really good week. He really has. Uh, uh, really, the last couple of days has really done a nice job uh, with operating inside the offense and being a playmaker. And uh, we're excited to see where he is for sure. Is there going to be any trick to um, Paige being the emergency quarterback? Does he he's dre dresses like everybody, yep. warms up like everybody? Mm -hmm. He just doesn't count against your roster unless you need him. Yeah, that's really it. There's really nothing there. Other than that, both guys got to go down. He can come in, and that's that's it. And then when they come back, if somebody comes back, or yeah, if somebody come, you can still bring someone else back. Yeah, if they come back from the tent and hey, they say they're okay, then heck, other guy has to come back. Yep. Oh, he has to. Yep. Okay. That's my understanding of it. Man, We're all new to this, so <laughs> we'll, we'll see. I think I'm right on that one. After, after all the absences in, in training camp, you're, you're going in almost all everybody but Kevin. Uh, you got to feel good about that, but are, are you at the mercy of the football guys as it comes to sustaining that health, or, or is there, have you done anything? Do you feel any better about being able to avoid some of these, especially on the offensive line, and just in general to stay healthier this year? Seems like a big key, you know. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. Uh, you know, we did some things ramping up and did a couple of things differently, but we still had injuries like everybody else during training camp. And uh, but uh, unfortunately, we are we are healthy. Going into this first one, you know we have most of our guys available, like you said, except for Tevin, and and that's a good thing. And uh, we're going to do a good job of uh, in these first stack of games of really working with uh, the performance staff and the strength staff and making sure guys are squared away with their with their bodies and, and everything else, and uh, and get them get them week to week, you know, because it's, it's it's important to be full strength in the NFL. Matt, there was a play in the Thursday night game where the Chiefs kept their defense out there instead of their punt coverage team because they were anticipating a fake punt from uh, Detroit. They did it earlier in the game. Is that something that you guys have a period of practice just where you're going to have your starters out there in the event that it is a fake or if it ends up being something you cover? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we just call that safe. You know, so that means you're, you're you know, keep your big guys out there, keep your base defense out there. You're just really a one-for-one one sub uh, during that time. Uh, Generally, um, you take your safety out, put your returner in, and that's what you got. So you're just really uh, pretty good against a fake. Um, but I've seen fakes ran against that 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 particular thing and work. You know, so you just got to be ready uh, for those things. And any part of the field, as we saw yesterday, you know, they were in the minus part of the field, ran the fake. So we got to be uh, beyond that. With your defensive line, it seems like there's a lot of youth and a lot of upside. But what's your level of curiosity in terms of what that group is going to look like throughout the course of the season? Yeah, it's it's uh, all hands on deck, right? So we'll have eight guys or nine guys, eight guys up for the game for this particular week, and uh, you know which we typically do. That's we all had it all last year, and we all, we're going to rotate those guys. Those guys are going to play. Uh, every one of them is going to play, you know, and they're going to get you know a handful of plays. You know, some guys, the older veterans, you know, starters that do play first and second down, and also play in our in our rush group, they will get more plays um, as they always do. But uh, again, all, every one of those guys is going to have to play and play well.